Hey everyone, Chuck from Chuck Wagon MTG here. Thank you once again for joining us for another booster box opening. We got a box of Hour of Devastation. Can't get enough of this set. I'm having fun with it. Um, this is just, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of digging the, the set and what they're doing. Um, like I said, another video or two that I've done. Um, I understand the EV. Um, which, for those of you that don't know, EV is the estimated value um, uh, of a box. Uh, when you spend X amount of money on a box, this is how much you're on average going to get out of it. Um, anyways, that number is pretty low for this set, but I'm still having a good time with it. Um, I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So, without further ado, let's start cracking open some packs here. Let's see what we get. See if we can beat what we got in the last box. For usual, we're going to go ahead and skip past all the commons. And we're going to go ahead and just do the uncommons. Alright, and now that we're centered, we have Jace's Defeat, Resolute Survivors, Desert's Hold, and Wildfire Eternal is our rare. Go ahead and scoot these back just a hair. Oh. Now, if you watched the last video we did, um, and I'm curious to see if it's going to happen in this box too, um, essentially the third row, and as you see I pulled these straight out of the box, the third row was all full art lands. So I'm not sure if that's, uh, you know, how this, how this set is put together. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool. Alright, we have a Gideon's Defeat, Eternal of Harsh Truths, Consign and Oblivion, and Hour of Revelation, a nice little board wipe. That has EDH written all over it. Um, Ten or more non-land permanents in EDH is, I mean, that's damn near what you start off with. So, um, essentially, that's only going to cost you three white, three white board wipe. That's pretty good. All right, we have a Sunset Pyramid. Vile Manifestation. Inferno Jet and Pride Sovereign is our rare. Oh, Sandblast. I love that new art. That's just so good. All right. We have Imaginary Truths, Resolute Survivors, Omnius Sphinx. Ominous? Ominous Sphinx. There we go. Words. Uh, I'm at Eternal. This card was so good to me during pre-release. I just, I can't get enough of him. He just, man, is he good. So good. Uh, and especially in Sealed, uh, any form of Limited. I mean, it's whenever they cast a spell, he gets a negative one, negative one. So unless they manage to build some form of Storm, you're not going to kill him easy. Anywho, all right. We have Haship Oasis. Consign and Oblivion, a Braid, and Adorned Pouncer, another lovely cat. So, Cat Tribal is definitely, I mean, with uh, Leona and all that that we had, uh, what did that come out in Scars, I think? Um, cat Tribal was there. Well, Cat Tribal, I think, got better. We have Ipnu Rivlet, Overcome. We have Ifnir Deadlands, and the rare is Angel of Condemnation. Slowly getting there. Blur of Blades, that was pretty good to me too during pre-release. Alright, we have Magmaroth, Gideon's Defeat, Vile Manifestation, and Swarm Intelligence. I like the art on that card. I like what it does. I hate that it costs seven mana. Um, I mean, I understand if they made it too cheap, it would just be broken, but I don't know. Not a fan. Anyways, we have Manticore Eternal, Unconventional Tactics, Burning Fist Minotaur, and our first mythic of the box, the Scorpion God. Uh, I pulled one of him during pre-release, and he is just so good. Um, out of all the gods, he is my favorite. Um, playability, I, I think he's second, but I mean, flavor-wise and everything, I just really like him. 
And then we did get a foil marauding bone slasher, so that's nice. Good stuff. All right, we have a sifter worm. He's really good. Crook of Condemnation, Doom Diviner, and Scavenger Grounds is our rare. And then we did get a full art swamp, and that wasn't that wasn't the first stack. So it doesn't look like that box. This box is going to be the same as the last one. Um, yeah, that was kind of weird. Check out the other video; you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, we have Steward of Solidarity. Sinuous Striker, Vizier of the True, and then we have Leave and Chance, and a Foil, Desert of the Glorified. Not bad, not bad. Another wonderful art of Sandblast. I'm going to get a Foil Sandblast, because I just think that would look amazing. Yeah, it's probably cheap. Anyways, we have Hashep Oasis, Devotee of Strength, Dunes of the Dead, and Oketra's Last Mercy. Last pack of that first stack. We have Hope Tender, Tenacious Hunter, Desert's Hold, and Torment of Hailfire. All right, well, so far, not the greatest box, but we're only one-third of the way through. We have lots more to go. Let's we'll see what we can do here. Hashep Oasis, Bloodwater Entity, Ramen Up Ruins, and Hour of Eternity. Oh, and we did get a Foil Island. Nothing wrong with foil basics. I'll add it to the collection I have. It's a huge collection. I have, I couldn't even tell you how many hundreds of foil basics I have. No idea why I keep them either. Um, Angel of God Pharaoh. Supreme Will. Unraveling Mummy. He's pretty good. And Apocalypse Demon. As I bend the cards. Oh, and knock the piles over. I'm just destroying stuff left and right. All right, we have Crook of Condemnation, Merciless Eternal, Sand Strangler, and Hostile Desert. Another Sandblast. We have an Unconventional Tactics, Bane Whip Punisher, that guy's pretty good, Tenacious Hunter, and Kefnet's Last Word. Oh, throwing stuff here. All right, come on, box, turn good for me. We have Angel of the God Pharaoh, a braid, saving grace, and hour of devastation. Oh, I'm glad I got that. That's a fun card. That's just fun. All creatures lose indestructible. Until end of turn, five damage to each creature and non-Bolas Planeswalker? What? That sounds like something Nickel Bolas would do. Okay. Um, I'm going to slaughter this. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I believe it's River Hoopoo. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. In the comments, let me know if I'm uh, slaughtering this poor bird's name. Anyways, we have Hope Tender. Ominous Sphinx and Endless Sands. I'm still, I'm not sure how I feel about that card. Um, it reminds me of, um, God, what is the name of that? That old card. Um, the one where you paid two and you exile creature, or you got Sunken Hollow? Is that it? No, it's not Sunken Hollow. I don't know. I'll think of it after I'm done with the video. That's how it goes. But there was another land that did something very, very similar. And I th but I think all you do is sack the land to get your creatures back. I don't think they had to pay for. I don't know. Anyways, we have Farm and Market, Quarry Beetle, Obelisk Spider, I like that guy, and Earthshaker Kenra. All right, what do we got 
here we have another farm and market. Dune Diviner, if near Deadlands, and our rare is God Pharaoh's Gift. I was, it's kind of like the, the vile card from, uh, from the cons block. You know, we had that card that fetches this. I was kind of excited, and then it came out, and it's like, oh, that's not. <laughs> nope, one too many. All right, we have Fervent Paincaster, Sun Scourge Champion, Eternal of Harsh Truths, and Ramanup Hydra. And, well, hello there. We got ourselves a foil, mythic rare, a foil scarab god. Now, that's just pretty. Okay, so this box just got a little bit better. <laughs> no, it got a lot better. <laughs> that makes my day. And we still got plenty of packs to go. Let's see what else we can pull out of this thing. We have Nissa's Defeat, Shafet Dunes, Torment of Scarabs, and Champion of Wits. And then we did get a second full art island, or second full art land, the island. And now that I think about it, we only pulled one full art out of that whole first stack, and then 80, 90% of that second stack, so I don't know there. We have Magmaroth, Struggle and Survive. Sand Strangler, and another mythic, we have Majestic Miriarch. I think I pronounced that right. But yeah, he seems kind of good. And then we got a Full Art Plains. You know, I wonder, I wonder if it's going to start doing it again. Let's see if this pack has a uh, another Full Art. If so, it's going to be so weird. All right, we have Doomfall. Resolute Survivors, Struggle and Survive, an Hour of Glory, and then a Full Art Forest. I'm telling you, there's something, maybe it's just the way this set's packed, I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to start on our third pile now. Try not to concentrate too much on those Full Art Lands. We have Quarry Beetle, Dunes of the Dead, Struggle and Survive, and Mirage Mirror. This one's going to be fun. There's in Full Art Forest. So yeah, in the comments, let me know if you guys had the same experience with this uh, opening up, you know, blocks of Full Art Lands, because that's just kind of weird. We have a Jace's Defeat, River Hoopo, Hoopoo, the River Bird, <laughs> Tenacious Hunter, and another mythic. We have Unesh, uh, Kreuzvinx, Sovereign, sure. And then we got a foil striped uh, river winder. There we go. And then Lord Island. As I damage the cards left and right, that was a good thing I put in it. Fervent Paincaster, Visor of the True, Visor of the Anointed, and Bantu's Last Reckoning. I'm not sure how I feel. I mean, th this is definitely, there are better ones out there, um, you know, that don't have that just huge drawback of, you know, essentially shutting out your next turn. But, yeah. We have a Nissa's Defeat, Claim and Fame, Devotee of Strength, and Ruminop Excavator. We have Razaketh's Right, Chandra's Defeat, Shafet Dunes, and Driven and Despair is our rare in a foil uh, Ipnu Rivlet. Full Art Swamp. Yeah, every pack so far has had, uh, in this stack, has had a Full Art. That's rather interesting. We have Doomfall. Fervent Paincaster, Liliana's Defeat, Hollow One, and a Foil Sandblast. I just talked about getting a Foil, and here it is. That's awesome. Alright, you know what? I'm going to take a quick second here to uh, talk about our uh, the contest we have running. 
which is once we hit 50 subscribers on our YouTube channel here, we're going to be giving away a fat pack. And now it's not just a Shadow Over Innistrad pack. You're going to have your choice. Whoever wins is going to be able to pick from a couple different fat packs that we're going to choose here. One of them will probably be Hour of Devastation. Um, but once we actually get ready to fire the concert, the concert, the contest, we'll go ahead and let you know the details. But yeah, so like and subscribe to the channel. Get your friends to like it. Hell, sign up your dog. I'm sure, you know, Fluffy would love to watch, you know, these cards being unboxed. It's, I don't know, I think you would have a good time. Anyways, we have Sinuous Striker, Unraveling Mummy, Rum, Rumming Up Ruins, and Hour of Promise. Ooh, we got the snake token. I don't think I've gotten a snake token yet. But we did get camels. God love camels. We have Supreme Will, Sun Scourge Champion, Riddle Form, and Winner Winner Chicken Dinner. We got Nicobolas God Pharaoh. Uh, he is the first one I pulled. Sweet. I'll go ahead and pull another full art land in the pile. We have Unconventional Tactics, Crypt of the Eternals, Claim and Fame, Refuse and Cooperate, and a Foil Gideon's Defeat. I'll tell you what, this box is kind of spinning around here. All right, we have Appeal and Authority, Vizier of the Anointed, Unraveling Mummo, Mummy, and Resilient Kenra. And, oh, there is a regular art forest, so got two packs left here. Let's see what we got. All right. We have Bloodwater Entity, Imaginary Threats, Obelisk Spider, Wildfire Eternal, and we have a foil claim and fame. Uh and then another uh, standard art, not full art, Swamp. So, yeah, everything definitely did come in a block there when it came to the full arts. Last pack, let's see what we got. We have Ipnu Rivlet, Accursed Horde, Dunes of the Dead, and Mirage Mirror. All right, well, uh, not too bad of a box. Um, I think we definitely kind of made out here. Um, now, I'm not completely up on the money cards, but I'm pretty sure that's something. Um, I don't know about that guy. Hollow one, I believe. Um, Driven, I don't know. Uh, the Excavator, I do believe. Bantu's Reckoning, I, I don't know if it's worth anything. I don't think it should be. <laughs> I, I, I really don't think it's that great. Standard, yes. I mean, it may see some play, but... I just think that drawback is uh, it, it does it doesn't justify the card itself. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh, we have Hour of Glory. I think that's good, or it sh I think it's going to be good, um, especially if these gods take off. Uh, the Hydra. That seems like it could be good. God Pharaoh's Gift. No. Endless Sands. It's a land, so why not? Hour of Devastation. Love you. Uh, Hostile Desert. Um, we'll put it in here just because it's a land. Lands tend to do a little bit of something, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know about this guy. Uh, this this seems interesting to me. I like it. We're going to put it in that pile. Um, leaving Chance, I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Swarm Intelligence, I don't think so. Angel, uh, the cat, possibly. Amit gross so good uh, our revelation yes um, wildfire eternal I think we already passed up on him but regardless I don't know where he's at but so yeah not too shabby on that and then we got a nice little stack of foils and mythics over here uh, we got a foil claim and fame Gideon's defeat sandblast Ipnu rivlet uh, striped river winder and then we got a full art, or excuse me, a foil plains, uh, desert of the glorified, marauding bone slasher, and then we got that lovely foil scarab god, 
And then we got the standard four Mythics per box, which is Anesh, the Majestic uh, Shimmera, uh, Chimera, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm used to saying Shimmera, but I know that's not it. Uh, we did get a Nicobolas and a Scorpion God, so overall, I'm happy with this box. Um, tell you what, if you like the video, please click like, subscribe to the channel, pass us along, let everyone know what you think of this glorious channel. Um, I just realized I'm completely out of focus on these cards. We'll go ahead and bring them back up like that. Um, but, yeah, thank you very much for watching. It's greatly appreciated. And as always, you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG.